I just found this crazy place with a bunch of campers and old cars, hundreds and hundreds of cars. I just talked to the owner of this uh, salvage yard and turns out the place is for sale. Uh, they are open for business. I can, uh, he gave me permission to go take a look around. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff out there. One eternity later. I need to find a hat. All right, here we go. Man, I'd love to bring a bottle of water. It's a little windy today, so I got the gimbal out. I got the microphone out with the little thing on it. I got the whole setup, but I even brought some water because this is it's a huge place. The guy's got around 400 cars, he says. So, um, yeah, I always get this vibe of like, Slab City when I go to places like this. Right. Two-step vans. This is my type of place. There's another step van over there. Yeah. Let's see. That's awesome. There's the inside of a old busted step van. Oh, wow. I want that. I wonder if I could get that off of there. I wonder if that's bolted on from the inside. I don't know, but I want it. I'm going to ask him if I can get that because I will put that on my van. Even though this is the wrong model, I don't care. It's still a step van. Apparently, this is where he keeps the transmissions. Check out this one. This one's got a whole mural on the side. This one was like converted a little bit. It's got carpeting on the doors. Uh, it's been, it's outlived its uh, useful RV days. This was converted at one time though. Wow. Pretty interesting. Mostly pickup trucks out here. There's just rows and rows of stuff. There's another badge that I would really like. This is a Chevy Nomad van. I'm gonna ask him if I can get that too. This is cool right here. I love this stuff. I bet this is some beautiful wood. Here's a cool old classic bike. You can't even tell what badge it is. Now that's a truck that's worthy of bringing back. I love it. Got some cool style there. This truck is great. I drive this thing right now. I wonder what's wrong with it. I know my boy Sean Jakeway would like it. I know my boy Paulie Walnuts would like this. Been a little auto zoned out, but that's okay. This could be brought back. Huh. 
Check this out, this old Ford. I don't know what this is. That's pretty killer though. I think this is just a homemade junkyard machine. So weird. I don't know what that was for. There's a cool old um, shuttle bus out here, but it's all it's all empty inside. Uh, you're missing something there, buddy. But this is a big old thing. Aerotech. I got this old Ford cab over. How cool is that? I would love to get something like this, build it into a car hauler, uh, fifth wheel, trailer puller. Um, dude, I think this would just be fantastic. I think it looks pretty awesome. I would love to build something like this. Just rebuild it, make it nice and new awesome I would love something like that too. take that fuel tank off the back make that into a uh, flatbed toy hauler camper little house truck that would be so killer <laughs> I wonder what kind of motors in that here's another old truck that has a lot of potential that thing's awesome this is an international. I want a flatbed. I want to get a flatbed that I can build a shed home on the back of it, like a house truck. These Jeeps are very valuable, but they're pretty well picked over. <laughs> and he has this other uh, little Wrangler here too. That's not too bad, it's a little rusty. I don't know what I was wasting my time with all the other stuff for. Look at this, it's the RV section. Holy crap. Oh man. Oh yeah. I want all this stuff. Dude. I could totally, I could totally rebuild that. That is not that damaged. Huh. I wonder if he would give that to me for free. Well, this just looks terrible. Every window's been smashed out of it. it looks like it has bees in it, maybe. Oh, Lord. No, thank you. It's been shot to death. This is where RVs come to die. This just makes me sad. Those Winnies are gone. Oh well. This van is the one that I want to see. This van is interesting. Well, okay, there's two things here that are interesting. That van, this high top van, this little shorty. first. Check that out, man. It's a big old high top. Let's take a look at this broken window. Let's see. Yeah, so inside of here, but yeah, something like this, throw it together for a couple thousand bucks. Might really have something there if you can like source a couple of uh, things like a motor and a tranny. That stuff is not a big deal to some people in the world. But I want to show you this thing. Check this out. I don't know what this is, but I want it. 
Look at that cute little front on it. I mean, it's ugly as hell, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that thing is. Wow. That's... Oh, we definitely got to go look at this one. Okay, we're going to try to go inside of this one and take a look around because this is an interesting little camper to have here. Oh wow, it's got a full, full of stuff, but... This is really decent, man. I love it. Oh my God. The door just got slammed behind me. What if I got locked in here and I couldn't get out? Nobody would know where I'm at. You grab that little fan. That would be nice. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here because it's creeping me out, but this is a cool little unit, man. I mean, I just don't wanna, I just don't wanna go in that deep. I guess I should a little bit. See, there's like a master bed bedroom back here. Let's see. So here's your kitchen, refrigerator, refrigerator on top, sink right here at the bottom. Looks like a double. Yep. Yeah. Double sink. You got your uh, stove and oven. The air conditioner or furnace, a closet on top of that, and then this must be a bathroom on this side. But wow, it does have a bathroom, it's a wet bath. But I like this thing. I, I like this thing. I think we could totally salvage this. What do you think, guys? Let's bring it back. What do you say? We can do this. <laughs> Things could definitely got character, though. Let me see if I can get out of here now. The door slammed behind me. <sighs> okay, I'm safe. That was a close one, guys. Okay, so apparently it's a Dodge. Maybe this isn't the same family as my Dodge Titan. Let's see, let's see what the back looks like. There you go, that's what the back of it looks like. Look at that neat little back awning thing where like it <laughs> overhangs on the back. Uh, it does have an awning that comes out of the side too. But this is even smaller than my Dodge Titan. This thing's awesome. Oh, it's a Pace Arrow. Here we go, Anaheim, California. It's a Pace Arrow. It's made by Dodge though, it had a Dodge uh, thing on it. Very cool. It's a very, very cool vintage camper. I really wanna take that little guy with me. Familiar. This is a Dodge, uh, that might be a Titan, man. That might be my, motorhome it's a slightly different year i think but that let me go get a closer look it's hard to say when the whole front has been removed well it's got a motor that i could probably put in mine 
know what the mileage is on this. Let's see. Wouldn't it be cool if I got these headlights and put them on my step van? Hmm. the grill and put the headlight up here we go yeah yeah it looks just like mine <laughs> it looks exactly like mine this might be exactly like mine I'm not sure uh, it's about the same dimensions it's definitely different colors but huh. let me take a look inside if I can get inside. I don't like these tight quarters. Oh man. Okay, well this is a little different than mine. It still has the overhead bed. It has the overhead bed thing. It's got a little different kitchen. It's got same the same stuff in that holiday oven. What's this little munchkin? Oh, it's a microwave. Huh, this is interesting. Yeah, this is not exactly like mine. This has got a nicer bathroom. Um, it's laid out a little bit differently, but this is cool. It's got the uh, Coleman four burner stove, full oven on top. It's even got a full... Oh, okay, I don't wanna look in there. I don't wanna know. Ooh, champion. Winnebago and another Pace Arrow. The front end of that Pace Arrow looks so odd. It has a uh, it has a catfish kind of look to it. Yeah, it definitely looks very catfish. <laughs> it definitely looks very catfish like. I'm gonna start making my way back. But on the way back, look, I just found a dolphin. These are cool. And this one doesn't look like it's in that bad of shape. It's not wrecked or anything. Interesting. What's up with this? This is complete, man. There's not much to it that's not that bad. Huh. It's got a deadbolt and it's got a padlock on the door. I got this. We got this high top van. It's an old Chevy. You know, it's a little rough shape, but I could work with that.
Here's a uh, converted step van. See, what I'm doing is nothing new. Let's take a look inside through the motor compartment. Look at that. Step van looks like they built this to look just like an RV. It looks exactly like an RV inside. Oh, that's interesting. Here's an old Baja bug. He said he was building this for his daughter, and then um, he was looking for a Subaru motor to go in here, and he just kind of gave up on the project. But yeah, it's like a half the. I would drive the hell out of that. I love it. Aha, I knew I'd find one. <laughs> he said he didn't have any. He said he had to crush them all. But there's always a Geo Metro in a junkyard. Hmm, let's see if there's anything cool inside. To me, that just looks pretty. I don't know what it is. The old wood, the old metal, old paint. I could fix up that little cottage right there and just live in that one. It's got a little chimney, a little stone fireplace, and uh, you know, live in amongst all this stuff. I talked to the owner down here at BNS Auto Wrecking. He uh, is selling this property. It's about 20 acres for sale, I think. Um, I don't want to quote any kind of misinformation, but this property is for sale. All the inventory is included. And um, yeah, they're selling this place. You'll have to call him or find this place for more information. I'll list his uh, info in the description down below. I've broken all my rules that I made for you. I made some boundaries that I cannot respect. And when you show your face the way you always do Then these four walls around me I cannot protect